so many snow in my whole life. <laughs> Honey, you feel things so strongly. I love it. I um, love snow. <laughs> me too. Good morning. Will you get my, will you get my stool? Yeah, we're making smoothies. Um, she's excited to help, except for I, uh, it's already, it's already basically done. So she'll help me mix it, I guess. But I'll show you what we put in it really quickly. I know we've talked about it before, but for anyone that's new. Oh! All right. So we've got protein powder. We like the Orgain brand. This is like vanilla. And PB2, this pre and probiotic stuff. It tastes so good. The peanut butter tastes so good in a smoothie. You might be surprised. Other than that, it's just almond milk, uh, greens of any kind. We honestly had salad that was going bad, so I just stuffed in whatever looked decent. Um, and then whatever fruit we usually do, a banana, and then some frozen fruit. This is just like a mixed bag from Costco, but we just switched that up. And then if you have it, we'll put in like some plain yogurt or even vanilla yogurt. Sometimes we don't have it and it honestly, it still works, but it does kind of help the texture a bit. That's pretty much it. I mean, I feel like that sounds like a lot, you know, it is what it is, but we really like it. It always tastes really good and Genevieve likes it too. And that's a pretty big deal. Okay, it's finally happening. I know so many people were upset the other day when uh, I didn't get to make this. I was gonna make it the other day if you didn't get to see that Vlogmas video three or four days ago um, because we had so many sweets in the house, whatever. So now we're actually going to a Christmas party. So I am making this and I'm so excited. It is from the Ina Garden Cook Like a Pro cookbook. I cannot recommend this cookbook highly enough. I mean, everything we've made from this has been so good. I have not yet made this, but I can't imagine it being bad. So uh, I'm gonna do it sort of time-lapse style today um, because we've only got a few hours before we need to leave. So it's gonna take all that time to try and actually make this. But if it's good, I uh, am planning on doing some cooking videos on my channel this year. So if it's really good, I might try and throw it on my channel at some point as well. But in the meantime, if you wanna make it, highly recommend this Cook Like a Pro book. And by the way, if you do get this book, the first thing you should make is the 1770 House Lamb and Chickpea Curry. We use chicken instead of lamb, but this, I think is my favorite meal of all time. Just saying. I think this is a record. It is Christmas Eve at 11 a.m. and I have finished editing Vlogmas and made the thumbnail and links, etc., etc. This is awesome. Hi, <laughs> sweet baby girl. She's enjoying looking at the snow, which is still here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, ba ba ba. Uh, Tyler is well. He's cleaned the cutting board he's getting going on his thing i just had that big thing of king arthur that i talked about like the first day and about those pre-cut half sheets well, i bet it's in the dining room with that mess honestly yeah, i can't because we put a lot of random box in there i am boiling eggs because i'm making deviled eggs for tomorrow's celebration and as i said hold on genevieve as i said earlier i'm gonna make that sausage roll i only have one puff pastry sheet and it's a really large gathering, so I'm like, I don't think it's gonna be enough. But I also, with the constraints of time, I thought it was a full pack, it doesn't matter. Long story short, I'm gonna make it and maybe just cut it into smaller pieces so it goes a little bit farther. All right, let's get started. All right, well, this is turning out to be a complete disaster. So good, good to know you can't really rush meringue. I had, uh, this was looking pretty good and then I tried to move it. I cut an hour out of the baking time, which was not recommended. I cut an hour out of the cooling time, also not recommended. I thought I could try and like do it over. Also my custard didn't really set up. So uh, I think this recipe is good, but I need to practice it a lot more and also have more time. This was not a good day to try it when I was uh, running short on time. But, uh, I mean, I guess if we throw it all together in a bowl and it tastes good, what does it matter, right? Just won't look very pretty. Um, okay, though, I just tasted it and it tastes so good. So even though I had to rush it by two hours because we have to leave in like 40 minutes and I still haven't even assembled it yet, uh, the taste of that is really good. Uh, the taste of the chocolate stuff that goes in the middle was also really good when I tasted that before I put that, that, that in the fridge. And also the reality is it looks awfully messy here. So, I mean, does it really matter?
Well, I guess in the end it didn't really matter that the meringue cracked because you can't see it anyway. So, uh, as I am fond of saying in my kitchen, good enough. All right, officially done wrapping. Starting our pile, you know, when you're gonna go somewhere. Even if it's not for Christmas, but especially for like a holiday. You start your pile somewhere of things that need to go over, like that's a bowl of my mom's I've been meaning to give her. Uh, gonna bring some coffee over we can all have. Presents, of course, and that, that, uh, that pile will grow. <laughs> All right, I'm still in like, I showered and did my hair and everything, but I'm trying to like hold it all together before I actually get dressed because I need to cook the sausage roll still. So puff pastry, sausage. Technically caramelized onions you can put, well, you can put a lot of things in it. I'm sure if you are from the UK, you've probably had these a million times in your life. I had never even heard of them until a few years ago, like adulthood. So I'm excited to make literally the simplest one I saw Paul Hollywood make, like I've said before, I'll link. But again, his head caramelized onion. We just, we just don't have the time. <laughs> All right, they're in the oven. They look actually look really good. <laughs> I ended up putting cheese in it at least instead of the onion, which honestly is probably more kid friendly anyway. And there are gonna be a lot of kids there. All right, we're as ready as we'll ever be. This skirt, by the way, is like super stretchy and I've got like those fleece line like legging things on and then like a turtleneck, obviously. But we are ready, baby, and we're comfy. I would, Tyler was like, I'm wearing stretchy clothes. I'm like, me too, bro. <laughs> All right, we are heading to my side of the family's Christmas. We got all of our stuff, so hopefully we didn't forget anything. I don't know if we'll really vlog there. I think we just want to enjoy the time, yeah, but just but letting you know, that's that's where we're headed. Ah, bah, 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 bah. She's, back there <laughs> She's babbling. Ah, bah, bah, bah. <laughs> What did Felicity get? We got so far this cute ornament. Oh, that's so special. Had a lovely time. We've gotten what we need to get done tonight done, and we're all in our matching jammies. And they're really comfy. These ones were pricier, but I'm hoping the brand is Little Sleepies. I'm hoping they'll just have this pattern for a few years so we could just buy the girls like whatever size they'd be in. And then eventually Felicity would fit in the ones she has to so just keep them. <laughs> we'll end up just having one in every size. Anyway. Oh, okay. um, but we can talk about this later because Santa's going to be here soon. And if we're not asleep, that's he true. Will not we better go to bed. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, Christmas 2022. Good morning. Uh, you're not going to believe this. What? I think Santa was here. Yeah. You want to come see? Oh my goodness. Huh? Felicity, <laughs> what do you think? First you got to open the places that you gave me first. Oh, interesting. <laughs> you hate some of the cookies? Gigi, look. Oh, hi, handsome boy. Pinocchio, Santa brought you something new. Oh my goodness. Wow. Christmas morning, baby. <laughs> Eating something. We are uh, midway. We They got yeah. their gifts from Santa. And now we're waiting because we're going to open ones from Mommy and Daddy. Mommy and Daddy have gifts for each other. So we're going to kind of go one by one. Cause Tyler is bringing up and I think it's a good point. Tyler's like, I feel like it teaches patience like in a kid to be like, okay, you get to open one. Now mommy's turning out and kind of go around. And I think you're right. And at this age, I mean, that's hard, but I, she can do it. Well, Santy Paws got in this cool bed with one of these cause he likes being tucked under. We, he cannot figure it out. Pinocchio just cannot figure this thing out. We were like literally trying to force him into it to teach him and he just is like, no, I'm just going to use it like a pillow. Both yeah. of you? Open it. Oh my gosh. Where did you? Oh my gosh. It's me and Felicity. <laughs> I am never taking them off. That is the greatest it's thing so I have ever seen. Oh my gosh. It's the rich house smell. It's that smell. It smells so good. It, that's the stuff we bought a spray of. Yeah, and, and I, I uh, love the smell of the spray. It doesn't last all that long though, so hopefully the um, well, cause it's just the like candle. A Febreze spray, you know, and it would not Febreze. Smells so good. So we were just getting, we were getting our battery organizer down because some of these need batteries. And at yesterday's, my my family's like Christmas, 
we did a white elephant gift exchange and my gift that I contributed to the gift exchange was a battery organizer, a battery daddy, if, if you nasty. <laughs> I make myself laugh. <laughs> anyway, so turns out that was the hit because that was the only one that was stolen enough times that you couldn't steal it anymore. And I, that makes me so happy. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to do that again next year because there were like four people that wanted the battery organizer, but it is such a game changer. Like for 25, 30 bucks, you can have all your batteries organized. And then when you need them, like on Christmas morning, you just bring down the whole thing. You got all the sizes, all the sizes. So wanted to mention that if you need like next year, a white elephant gift, if it's 20, 30 buck limit, battery day. So Tyler's gift for that was a lodge cast iron pan as every year you do. Mm hmm because they last stolen. a lifetime and they're inexpensive. My whole family is slowly all getting them, but it was stolen as well. Uh huh. I told him that in a future year he should uh, wrap just the lid because I feel like the lid for the Lodge cast iron pans are also like twenty dollars. Yeah. Like they're weirdly expensive. So like in a future year, just do the lid, and so then everyone that now has a cast iron pan from previous years would fight over the lid. <laughs> I think that's a pretty good idea. Tyler has outdone himself. Hey, no. Biscuits and gravy. This is the Chrissy Teigen one from the Cravings Cookbook. Yeah. So it's biscuits, so good. Biscuits and gravy is my favorite breakfast. Besides, mm -hmm. oh my gosh, uh, no, guys, maybe it might actually this. be my favorite. Um, is it really? That it's up or to uh, I like uh, breakfast casserole. Well, it's really, it's really a tie between that and eggs benedict. Uh, mm -hmm. But we've got our uh, biscuits. I got bacon. Now here's the question. When I was growing up, we always tore up our biscuits into small pieces and then ladled it over. Oh. Some people just lay it right over the top. Some people I'm split a half in half. Yeah. Split in half and then. I'm definitely a haver. Anyone that does it whole, you're crazy because. But I the feel like at restaurants, right. that's what this way it's always served at restaurants. Yeah, and then you gotta tear but it up. But yeah, what we were uh, we were always to tear it up with your fingers and then pour it on top. Yeah. Tell me about your biscuits and gravy habits. Yeah, I'm curious. Comment below. <laughs> it is. Yeah, I'm sorry. The sun keeps shining in my face. So we're heading to the Bronze Side Christmas right now. I've got my deviled eggs, and uh, yeah. It's a white Christmas. We hadn't really like talked about that, but obviously it had snowed and the snow stuck around. <laughs> I'm intentionally, she's just being wild. She is jazzed that it's Christmas, obviously. And anyway, see cousins. and see your cousins. So uh, yeah, it's just nice that it's like truly a white Christmas. I don't know when the last time I've we had. I've been dreaming of it for a long time. I know that. Just like the ones I used to know, you know? Nana has got <laughs> something set up here. <laughs> Yeah, we came up with things under the under the cup. So there's things everybody gets at least three gifts and maybe four. So what's under there is yours. Some of it's good. Underwear. Let's make a line. So under All right, Genevieve, okay. go pick a cup. Here, okay, line up. Asher, you're behind Genevieve. What's under there? Uh oh, oh, some of them might even be attached. Oh. There's something in here. There's something in there. What it says. You have to give a hug to everyone here. I'll enjoy that. Oh, yes. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Right. Right. No, Actually, I just. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, one of Tyler's gifts for me was a way for us to tell, like, when we make our, like, calm in the evening or tea, whatever, whose cup is whose if we're using, like, plain ones. And so, these, I did it upside down, but these are, like, things you can stick on there. And you can put them on wine glasses too, like on the stem, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. How adorable. But we could tell who everyone was, right? So Mickey, Woody, Stitch, Ike Wazowski, Buzz, Donald, who? Who in the world? Is this one? Help is us. It, is it? I, I, I don't know. It's going to drive like, me crazy. Is it something from like Alice in Wonderland or That's something? That's what I was thinking. Or? I was like, Cheshire Cat? No. I don't know. It's, but that's like you were saying, if those were easy enough to figure out, like it's gotta no, be it a- should be relatively easy. Yeah, so. Something from like the Great Mouse Detective or something. something you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, very obscure. <sighs> okay, so we're done what with this, days. these two days. <laughs> yeah, we're continuing on to the 31st, right? Yes, yeah, um, yeah. So, these two I know days a lot of people figured this is our last one, but no, we mentioned it at the end of another one that we're gonna You're keep stuck going with one us. more week, y'all. Uh, Honestly, just because we'll be, we have some work to do. Well, Vlogmas is work, like editing and yeah. doing all that is work, but um, we have like other work stuff to do, but it's going to be yeah. a low key week. Well, it's funny because Jessica you know. just today was like, um, 
well, the girls will be home all week because school's closed. I'm like, oh my gosh, yeah, it's like Christmas break. Like, that didn't even occur to me. Yeah, I'm like, I was Tyler. Like, I just assumed, you know, it'd be He's like, weekend. we'll go back tomorrow. I'm like, I was like we'll no go way. to work tomorrow. And she's like, no, it's Christmas break. I'm like, oh, yeah, okay. So I got to kind of refocus and figure out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got a house that's ready to be cleaned. Well, oh, you that. can't see half the mess. That's good. But I've got a bunch of work to do because um, we have a couple weeks before this conference and I've got a lot of work to do before yeah. that. So oh. we'll uh, have to figure out when we're going to work here. We'll but anyway, uh, yeah, we got one week left. We talked about a few things we we're trying to do. Um, I don't know if we're going to start the bathroom or not, but one thing we did talk about um, a few things. So we're, so we're definitely doing the book thing. You're going to have to hold the phone because my arm is okay, already we're tired. Maybe doing the, um, like some, like a, our favorite Christmas gadgets. Christmas gadgets. <laughs> Kitchen gadgets. <laughs> uh, uh, we have to rewatch the one we did before so we don't repeat. Yes. Don't you think? We also have some fuzzy fruit in the fridge that we need to be trying mm. then we can use my genius title so good did we share what it is no we didn't No, but a bunch of people have already it. guessed what it is they did oh yeah like maybe not a lot like four or five people have guessed cool then you guys are my people because it's a genius title isn't it it's pretty good it's pretty good so yeah we'll do that um and right. also um i don't see it <laughs> also we both were talking about how like we feel like we haven't really cooked i mean we cooked some dinners but like not in the normal like normal times yeah. ordinary times so we talked about like actually planning some and like yeah, sharing some of that, that with you guys yeah. um what was the one you just said that i was like oh week. my gosh i don't remember what it was now oh the the um sesame chicken oh, noodles those were so good we've made those a Ooh. lot for we a while. actually usually don't eat, don't whoa we usually What's don't even i know <laughs> <right>? <laughs> um we usually don't what am I trying to say? Include chicken. Like a lot of times we'll just leave it out and just do the yeah. sesame noodles. Yeah. That's pretty good. Good in it. Yeah. hundred percent. Meatless Fridays. That's, no, we don't do that. <laughs> All right. Anyway. That's my dad about eating meat on Fridays. Oh, Only no. he will get that. All right. Well, anyway. we're going down a whole rabbit hole here. So yeah. we're going to stop that right there. And uh, we'll see you guys. <laughs> on the flippity flip. Tomorrow. <laughs> Bye guys. <laughs>